After months of investigation, police in Manila arrive at the home of a man they believe has been selling child sexual abuse material on the internet. They search his house looking for evidence. What sort of scale of abuse are we talking about? How bad? Well, uh, it's, it's disgusting. I, I can't explain it thoroughly. Behind closed doors across the Philippines, cases of online child sexual abuse have skyrocketed in recent years. But it's a problem that begins thousands of kilometres away. You see the most sexually motivated offenders coming out of the US, and then in second place is Australia in almost every study. Manila-based Australian Federal Police Detective Natalie Rosler has dealt with hundreds of these cases. She says often offenders meet Filipino facilitators on dating apps or social media. From there they can talk and chat, negotiate um, for a child to be sexually abused and that can be live streamed. The AFP is part of an international task force working with Filipino authorities to tackle these crimes. So far they've found nearly 600 child victims and arrested 120 facilitators but they fear that's just the tip of the iceberg. The crime type is growing, unfortunately. As much as we work together, um, the reports don't go down, they just continue to go up. The Philippines facilitators may face decades in prison, but the toll on their victims could last a lifetime. Stephanie March, ABC News, Manila.